Hey everybody, welcome back to the Oxygen channel and another tutorial video. My name is Jonathan and today what I'm going to do is show you how you can register a custom condition to create a simple password protected page. So this isn't something that is super high security, but it will present just enough of a challenge for somebody who is non-technical to think that they can't get any further. Of course, you wouldn't want to put super sensitive information behind this password, but you could have something that isn't necessarily designed for the entire world to see. So in this demo here, the password for this particular page is let me in. So if I type that in and press enter, then what you can see is the redirect happens. I get this question mark access equals the password that I just typed in, which is let me in. And now I see the content that's behind this page that is supposed to be protected. What's really cool about this is thanks to the oxygen condition, I can now hide the form that was there and only show the content that should appear. If I take that access condition out of my URL string there, then I get the field again, but not the content. In the back end of the Oxygen Editor, it looks like this. I have two sections, one with a simple gravity form shortcode and a heading, and then the content down here that I want to protect. Each one of these has the condition applied to it with a different operator. So what we'll do now is I'll walk you through from start to finish how to set this up yourself. In this WordPress installation that I have here on the site, I have a couple of plugins that we're gonna need. Of course, we're using Oxygen to design our website and set up the conditions. We're using Gravity Forms to create the submission for the password, and you can also use something like Ninja Forms, which is free, and it does the same thing. You're gonna create the redirect in pretty much the same fashion, and it does work, I have tested it. Code Snippets is what we're gonna to use to register the custom condition, and you can find the link to download the custom condition in the description below. Classic Editor is just what I prefer over Gutenberg, so I have that installed, but it's absolutely not necessary. Now, once you have Code Snippets installed, what you're gonna do is hover over Snippets and go to Import. In the Upload Files section, just go ahead and click on Choose Files, and we're gonna select that condition that you downloaded, open that file, and choose Upload Files and Import. You'll get the little message that says successfully imported, have fun. And then what we're gonna do here is go down to the bottom. You can see the condition that we just imported is called hide content unless access equals in URL. Go ahead and just switch that on. And now we're ready to move on to Gravity Forms. So we'll go up to the Forms button here and let's click on New Form. We can just call this pretty much anything. So like Members Access, and then let's click on Create Form. We really only need one thing, which is a single line text element. And what you can do is just name the field label whatever you want. So like enter password is what I used before. We're gonna set that to required and then I'm going to update this form. Now under the settings option, I'm gonna to go to the confirmation button. And in this default confirmation, I'm gonna edit this. Choose the redirect option here, and the redirect URL is going to be the page that your protected content lives on. You're gonna to need to input the full URL, not just the relative URL, but the full page URL. So what I'm gonna do is go over here. I'm gonna grab this members area page that I have. I'm just gonna copy this link address, and then I'm gonna paste this in right there. Under this redirect query string, we do wanna pass this data along via a query string. So what we're gonna do is basically write the access condition for the password that we want. So this access equals to, you don't need to type the actual password here. What you need to do is click this little down arrow and say enter password. And so that is going to automatically input in the query string, whatever that person types in in the gravity forms that I showed you earlier. So if they put in let me in, that's gonna automatically input here. Whatever they type into that password field is automatically going to be added to the URL of the page, which then with that condition, lets them see the protected content. So just go ahead and save this confirmation. And then if you don't wanna be notified, just go into the notification section here and delete this notification. And now we can actually go to our pages. We're gonna edit this members page with Oxygen. All right, so the first thing that I'll do is expand the structure pane here, and I have two different sections. This first section contains just a simple heading and a shortcode field, which is the gravity form shortcode that we were using earlier. The second section contains the protected content that we wanna show or hide based on the password. So to make this shortcode render the gravity forms that we want, if we go back over here, we can look at the members access and the ID of this form is equal to two. So the gravity form shortcode is pretty simple. It's just gravity form space ID equals two. And then there's these other options, title equals false, Ajax equals true, and then description equals false in this case. So you can see now it's rendering the enter password field for us. Now we're ready to assign the password to each of these sections. So what we're gonna do is click on the condition settings button, go to set condition, add your first condition, 
choose and scroll down here to access code, which is that new condition that we uploaded via code snippets. Now this one here, we wanna to set to the operator of the exclamation mark equals to basically say it does not equal. And then you're gonna type in the password that you want it to be here. So let's do something like let me in. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this here. We're gonna close out of this and then go down to this second section here. And again, we're gonna to go to condition settings, set condition, add, then choose access code, leave this one is equal to and just paste in that password again. All right, so now we can close this. Let's save and then we're gonna take a look on the front end. And what you can see is the content below the page that we want to protect is not yet visible because we haven't entered the password. So if we type in let me in in our password field here and click on submit, then you can see the enter password field is now gone and the content that we wanted to protect is now visible. Once again, if I just remove this out of the URL and refresh the page, then the protected content password field shows up and the content is hidden down below there. So as you can see, this is a really simple way to password protect a page that doesn't require any complex plugins. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.